Hello, and please join me for the 3D Organon VR Anatomy application on the room scale virtual reality device, which is the HTC Vive. So let's get going. This gives me a little uh, primer into how to operate this application. So I can operate both functions with the Vive controllers. I can walk around. Uh, this is room scale virtual reality, of course. Hold the pads to inspect it close up and press a trigger button halfway while pointing on an anatomical structure to select it. Okay. And press fully whilst pointing to drag it. So it uses a kind of force touch mechanism. And then I can hide the anatomical structure. So there's quite a few um, different uh, functions here. Okay, so let's get going. Um, let's choose a structure here. We've got all the organ systems there at the top. Um, let's do something like the kidney first. Okay, so here's the skeleton. And then I can label any structure and move it around. It's quite a... Um, interesting uh, model in that I can just take any structure and uh, pull it out and have a look at it. So renal capsule just pulled out and there's a kidney itself. And then I can hide it by pressing that side button. So you can hide any structure And I can also change the environment there. That's it. So I can press left and uh, right on the scroll wheel to move move the um, body up. And there's a lot of, I mean, there's a huge amount of detail. I'm not sure what the particular use of being able to to pull out just all these these tiny structures, like say a renal uh, selection of renal pyramids. It's really, I mean, the detail here is, is amazing. But and the ability to move these things is amazing. Um, I guess it's similar to doing a dissection in an anatomy class. Um, it's just, oh, the skeleton just went up. It's just because I'm, perhaps it's, the problem is I haven't really got used to the controller that well. So let's go for the gastrointestinal system and let's move this up. Oh, I accidentally pressed something. Let's move that back there. Okay, so. Let's try to use the descriptions here to um, click on various things. So good, so I can press on the button and then learn about the colon as much as I want to. Um, and annotate. It's almost like a, you know, a anatomy kind of um, pop-out textbook. You can just look at the structures in lots of detail, but um, in a lot, of, well, in a lot of detail, but it's hard to get. Oh, that's scary! The skull just uh, walked away from me there. I grab the sphenoid, temporal bone, mandible. What happened there? Oh, I was. I accidentally had my thumb on the thumb controller. Okay. See, this is a this problem in terms of learning. I think for this is very good to software in terms of the detail, but I actually think you know, given the choice between a textbook and this, um, you want an, an anatomy um, application to be really easy to use, and this is a little bit challenging for me to to get my head around in terms of all the various buttons. See, I'm trying to find the zoom button, for example. Let's press that again. Walk around. Hold the pad. So I've got to hold this. Hold the pad whilst pointing in an anatomical structure. Okay, so 
The problem is I can't. I mean, this isn't really accurate looking, but I can't really. I want to sh look at it a little bit closer, but I can't. Okay, so I can hide this again by pressing that. It's good to have the help functions there. This is helping me a bit. Um, okay. So let's go back. Reset, so that resets the body at least. But I've accidentally lifted this uh, model all the way into the sky again. So it is quite hard to um, to operate this and to stop yourself from accidentally, like I'm doing again now, accidentally touching that thumb button. Even the gentlest touch moves the the model quite high up. at least with this you can take away the various so that's good so I can remove the bones and just look at um, the soft tissue structures process glands ethmoid air cells so it's quite nice I wish there were a way to just to make it a little bit bigger um, oh and accidentally again my thumb hit the scroll wheel. Oops. Thyroid cartilage, thyroid membrane, the digastrics, laryngeal mucosae, cricothyroid membrane. Yeah, it's like an intricate small model. See that that thing? I can't bear. I can barely see the vocalis. Is there no way to zoom in on it? No. I think you you get the picture. I uh, there's they put so much detail into this, but uh, they could have just done with a bit of um, uh, a way to scale. For some reason, I can't select this this thing. And the reason is because because if I select help there, it automatically affects it over on this side. Um, so let's have a look at skin. So there we have the skin. And I can take looks like something from a horror film. I can just take the skin off like that and have a look at it. Remove the eyes, remove the skin. Not, I'm not going to learn much if I remove the skin from the skin. Um, sensory. So let's see the muscular system. There we go. Pectoralis major. Platysma. See, this I think would be good for physios, for example, who are learning about the uh, body or medical students who are learning anatomy. You've got all the muscles there, like you would in a dissection um, table. So it's a pert set of gluteus maximus, does this fella. Um, let's look at the larynx. See, the, uh, this is where it falls down, in my opinion, is that these kind of um, structures, which are on a, at a smaller scale, it's just slightly harder to con contextualize them f when you're looking at them like this. You j I just want it bigger. I want bit Let's see the heart. So there we've got a lovely looking colored heart. Um, it would be nice if it was a kind of a functional action model as well. There we go. Very intricate. It's nice to look at. And we've got the very 
these structures. We can take away the muscle just to show the vessels. Or we'll take away the veins, or we'll take away the arteries, whatever I want to do. And I can take uh, I can check the entire uh, arterial system. And of course I can use the side buttons to take away structures to kind of chisel away at the body. Um, it's got the lymphatic system, some, something that uh, people struggle with sometimes. So this kind of virtual reality model can help you know, to see how it's, uh, it's structured in, in um, comparison with the rest of the body, um, which is quite nice. Thymus gland. So I can again chisel away at it to kind of take away everything else and then grab it so I know where it is. I think I'm getting a bit more familiar with um, the software now um, and as I'm getting more familiar with it it is turning into a more effective uh, tool for me. I think you know it's it's like having a an anatomy textbook which I can just kind of uh, jump into and jump into the structures and um, learn uh, a bit more about how things fit into each other. This respiratory system here, so I can walk around. And it does rely on walking around rather than other applications which have um, things like um, teleportation mechanisms or, you know, rotating the model. Some people like walking around, some people don't. I think it's nice if you're doing uh, this kind of room scale virtuality to, you know, to walk around the room personally, walk around your model. It's uh, it's a nice thing to do. And you know, there's a huge number of um, structures here. As I say, it would be good to why why are the kidneys all over the place? There's two random kidneys there. Don't know what happened there. But I just wanted to grab the pancreas and have a look at that. Grab the small intestine. Grab the large one. Here we've got the limbic system. So here we've got uh, the limbic system. Oh no. Where's it gone? I think I've lost it in the sky. Is that it's up there? Can't tell. Oh no, that's something completely different. So there you've got the cerebellum. You can pull this out, pull out both lobes, and Pull out the brain stem as well. In this part of the brain, I think this is particularly useful because this is uh, a part of the brain which is sometimes quite hard to learn in anatomy lectures. So perhaps being able to pull things away and click on these structures does help. You know, the brain stem and the cerebellum, you can just move away the um, parts of the. Uh, uh, cerebral cortex and uh, then just access the brain stem there so that you can just con you know properly learn where the pons is where the medulla is um, and uh, where the various uh, parts of the uh, central part of the brain stem are so I, I do actually think for students of uh, neuroanatomy this uh, application is is pretty useful um, it's very useful it's neuroanatomy something which is slightly harder to learn in in dissection because 
it's just uh, there's so much going on there really. So a 3D model in virtual reality is good. Okay, well that's it for me. Uh, I think this is a good piece of software, and oh hello, and I recommend it to uh, people who like to learn their anatomy in a different way than from classic textbook. Uh, and thank you for joining me.